Hey, what's up, you guys? <coughs> this is Tang again. Uh, this is with the second part of the video of the transmission um, one to, on what to inspect when buying a transmission. Um, first off, you need to learn how the transmission works. Um, so what I got here is the first gear on uh, on a transmission, and how the transmission works is uh, this is your gear spinning. And uh, and this is your selector sleeve. It selects the gears for you, so you can go from first to second and third. So when the transmission is spinning um, at a thousand or so RPMs, um, this thing is spinning really fast. So the selector gear goes down, slows it down. It catches the spring. It catches the spring and slows it down completely. That way, you know it can't. It slows down to a speed to where it can catch it uh, easily. So so if I let the pressure off, just a little bit of pressure, it spins freely. With the light pressure down, I can't spin it anymore. Once it doesn't spin anymore, it catches the gear. So um, that's how it works, and um, and that's what I'm gonna be teaching you guys today on how to inspect when buying a transmission. Uh, for the Honda transmissions, um, other transmissions should be very similar. But um, here we go. Um, this is your selector gear. It selects your gears from first, second, third, fourth. Um, this is a this is a bad selector gear. You notice how deep the notches are. Let me see if I can zoom in. You notice how deep it is. Well. It's been grinding gears, so it's just been getting worse and worse. Um, and it leaves this little burr right here on this edge. And what that burr does is uh, it starts to eat away at the selector hub. So you'll notice the selector hub starts to get rough spots. And uh, also this burr also cuts into the selector ring. So you'll notice that the ring starts to have like rough spots, kind of, kind of like um, this uh, welding rod. Uh, it has rough spots, and uh, what it does is, when it's spinning, um, what it does is when it's spinning, um, the selector hub goes down on the ring, puts a little bit of pressure on the ring, which puts a little bit of pressure on the selector it puts it puts a little bit of pressure on the spring on the selector spring and that's this guy and then it puts it puts the pressure on the synchro and the synchro is what slows it down but without the ring acting as a brake pad or the or the piston of a brake um, brake caliper, then it would would not slow down the gear enough. So if you didn't have this ring, this ring is very important. If you didn't have this ring, or if it was wore down too much, um, you would be grinding gears all the time. Once it starts grinding gears, uh, a simple synchro change and and um, and uh, ring change will not fix the problem. Um, you'll just have to buy a new selector hub and everything. Uh, the select the synchro itself is not what really goes bad. It what goes bad is this spring, and this spring is very important. Uh, the synchro itself is important too, but um, uh, the spring itself is a little more important. Uh, this is a new one from Honda. This is a new one from Honda. Uh, you notice how deep the notches are on here. This is a new one. It's it's straight across, very sharp, very pretty. Um, how everything's really even. Um, this one's a little rough. It goes down too deep. Um, if they don't go down too deep, um, it's still very repairable. Um, kind of like this one. This one's repairable. 
Uh, if I deburr the edges, uh, this one should be easily fixed uh, because it has an 8 in too deep or too far. Uh, you can still see that it's even across all the way up top. So when looking at the transmission, you know, this one, um, I'll be kind of iffy. I, I should be able to fix it, but the normal person um, wouldn't. So, um, so like I said, this, the synchro itself doesn't go bad. This is a new synchro, and, um, and everything should be pretty good from there. Um, let's see, we got this transmission. Um, on this transmission, um, what you're looking for is, uh, see these, let's see, there's the, the spring and the synchro, um, try to zoom out. Yep, there you go. See how it's very nice and smooth all the way around. Uh, that means that this one's good. Uh, this is the third and fourth gear. Um, if you look at this one. Um, this one's very nice and smooth itself. And also look down. Um, like... On the teeth of the selector gear, um, this one's still very smooth. And then uh, this one was donated from uh, Zhang's Auto here in Hickory. Um, I want to give him a, a thank you for donating this one. Um, so I can show you guys what's going on. Uh, this one is grinding uh, second gear, third gear, and fourth gear. Um, let's see what's going on. You can see it looks like saw blades, um, very rough, the ring isn't smooth, it doesn't have a nice glare to it, um, so that's what goes, that's what's wrong with it, and uh, wow, same thing for second gear, uh, it's totally gone completely, it's like, it's not even round anymore, it's flat, so um, yeah, you see the rough edges, the bottom one, right here is the the spring so now when it's spinning regardless of how much light pressure it puts on it it's not going to slow the gear down anymore so the gear is still spinning at full speed when you're catching it uh, when you're shifting into gear and that's why you're getting um, that's why uh, it's grinding gears when it's going in um, this would be a little better and actually this third gear is not too bad the selector hub is still pretty good um, so this one could still be repaired with the simple synchro change um, and synchro spring change um, let's see Oh, it's down. 
okay and uh, this one is uh, second gear and you notice how rough it is how the edges are so sharp well this one is gone and then uh, we look down there and it's it's pretty bad but the video is getting pretty long so uh, just remember what to look for look for the sharp edges that I told you about uh, look, look how far down it's gone and look at the single ring it should be nice and round so um, so just shoot me an email if you have any questions thanks